Whew. I made it out of the city. You know, I'll share with you a little personal element in my life. And uh, even though I'm a family man, by nature I'm not a very social person. If given a choice of uh, a gathering with people or a uh, gathering in the woods of the trees and the bushes and the birds and the bugs and me, we'll take the latter in almost any case. It's just the, I guess the way that I'm formed. So sometimes when I've had enough of uh, the city, it, uh, it's really great to get out here. And I want to share with you, I was thinking as I was walking just now, relishing in the, uh, the peace of being back in the woods, share with you uh, some words that I can't, can't quite, don't know if I can quote it right. It's been oh, at least maybe three decades since I read the words, but they were by uh, one of my favorite writers, Thoreau. I mean, David Thoreau, favorite uh, livers, philosophers, transcendentalists. And Thoreau said uh, that in, in wildness is the salvation of the world. Let me repeat that. In wildness is the salvation of the world. Now what's curious to me is that he used the word wildness. And I may have that, I may not be saying the, the, this phrase just right. It may have been a little bit different. But I remember when I read it that I, I, I touched upon in my mind that there was a key distinction and that he used the word wildness instead of the word wilderness. Because I think there's a, a, an important distinction between the two. Wilderness, of course, is uh, the places where we escape to, away from civilization, away from the company of man, and the places like this. The wildness is a little bit different. Wildness is uh, the absence of uh, the tame, the uh, domestic, and uh, the, the refined, or maybe refined of life, but the absence of uh, what might be called the, uh, hmm, the, the what has resulted when sentient beings set about to uh, set up some sort of a structure or an organization out of the madness that is uh, the wildness all around them and the apparent madness and create something like that. And we, I think that uh, that's what Thoreau was aiming at when he said in wildness is the salvation of the world because we all are all born of this wild places. Our uh, roots and our background are all related to this type of stuff. And to uh, be without it for a very long time may have a detrimental effect on our well-being. I know it certainly does with me. Look at this. What kind of an insect is that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so, for me, I have to get out to these places. I have to escape the city. I have to put on my pack, uh, put on my bear bell, get out my, uh, my uh, canteen and trek out into the places where uh, there's no trails or, or people or, uh, or signs of man even, not even sometimes the sounds overhead of airplanes. And I've been in some places in the world where that's the case. And that's the most uh, satisfying. And I'm glad to be back. I'm already eased now. Since I turned the camera on, just before I turned the camera on, I was, uh, I was just feeling that anxiety of the city passing, and now it's gone. The sound of the water is doing it to me. I'm home. And I hope that uh, you all having a, a great day wherever you are, and that you have your home as well. And uh, remember that uh, if it gets a little congested, a little clogged, a little, uh, uh, a little crazy up here in the head sometimes, maybe you need a little wildness as well. And wildness is the salvation of the world.